Hey everyone, Santad here. Hope you all are doing great. Uh, I just finished calculating the chances of getting every Curio Armor Augment in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak title up, everyone. Uh, so for example, uh, let's say you want a Kaiser Helm uh, with Chain Crit and plus one slot. Your chances of getting that are 1,000 or 1 in 1,660. So yeah. Uh, let's go see the video. Uh, there are some other interesting things you might notice if you look at this closely. Uh, for example, a really uh, low rarity armor will have about a 1 in 250 chance of getting attack boost, uh, whereas if it's higher it might take up to 1 in 750 to get attack boost, whereas the rarest armors need like 1 in 1500 to get attack boost. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically how I did this, I relied on someone much smarter. Um, I relied on Detilnor, uh, who does all the data mining for the Monster Hunter games. Uh, and Detilnor basically figured out how all of the armor augments work. Uh, I'll link to Detilnor's spreadsheet, uh, which I'm showing right now in the description. Uh, basically Detilnor also made a, what one I call pseudo code. Uh, basically it, it's code that can't really be read by a computer, that can be read by a human. Uh, for how the armor augments work. I took this pseudo code, code I turned it to real code. Damn. Um, I'll post this code as well. Uh, and use this code to figure out all the probabilities of getting exactly what you want. Uh, so let's work through an example together. Let's say we have some Archfiend armor. Um, for example, the Archfiend feet. Uh, and we want to have chain crit and we want it to have plus one slot uh, because if it has plus one slot, uh, it'll be, get a four slot piece, which we like. Uh, so, uh, what we want to do is we want to look at this Hilnor sheet uh, and find Archfiend Armor to figure out what pool it is. Uh, we see that Archfiend Armor is in pool six with budget 10. So back to my sheet, we want to look for something with pool six in budget 10. Uh, if we wanted the skill chain crit, we want to see the value of the skill chain crit. So the value, uh, according to Tilnor, uh, and the cost of skill is 12 for chain crit. So value 12. Um, skill allowed is whether or not we're allowing ourselves to lose a point in the skill. Uh, one means we're allowed to lose a point, zero means we're not allowed to lose a point. So you can see this here. Um, so for skill value 12, uh, pool six, skill allowed zero, uh, skill minus allowed, no, no, you are not allowed to lose a skill. And for plus one slots, uh, it'll take one in 2,570 is your probability. Um, in this second sheet, we have basically how long it'll take you to get the augment you want. Uh, basically, this is how many attempts you need for a 50% chance of getting it. So it'll take you 1,780 1, rolls to get a 50% chance of getting the arm augment we want. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. That's basically the video. Um, do keep in mind that this is based upon the data mine uh, as it is today, which is the 28th of August. Uh, August. August, yeah. Um, if we do find more information about how this works, um, then of course this will be outdated, but these seem like very good and strong estimates. Um, the really high values, I didn't trust them so much because that's just chance whether or not the computer rolled it or not. Just assume if there's a dash dash, or if there's a really big number, you just aren't gonna get it practically. Um, I would never try to get something with a one in, uh, what is this? 180 million chance. I'm, I'm not gonna try for a plus three slots. Uh, just a quick note, if you don't know how slots work for augments, uh, basically, the if you get a slot, it will always try to give you at least one slot in everything. Then after that, it'll fill from left to right to try and get each of them to four. Uh, just as an example, say you start off with like a two slot, a once, a two slot, a one slot, and no slot. Uh, if you get plus one slots, you'll go from the zero slot to a one slot. And if you get one more slot, then it'll just try and make this one uh, up to four, then this one still up to four, and then it'll continue onwards. So then it'll try to make the second one up to four, and then the second one up to four, and so on until they're all four. Uh, just, as, just in case you don't understand. Uh, so this is why I'm saying that like the Archfiend armor legs, uh, because that has three, two, two. Uh, it's gonna start from three, two, two. So because they already have a point, it's gonna fill up the first one first and get that to four, two, two. And of course the four slot is very, very valuable because we can use, for example, a Creelman Plus or a Quick Sheath Plus or a Longsword user. 
Uh, one quick note, I am also posting not only this uh, and a similar sheet in the description, but also post a link uh, to a Google Drive folder with my code. Uh, one, it's nice for you to check. Um, two, it's nice that someone else can update it uh, if I'm not around to update it for later stuff whenever we find out more stuff about how this works. And also, finally, because it's legitimately an interesting exercise, uh, like this actually isn't too hard or complicated. Uh, so if you are in high school or in university or you just like the code uh, and want to get better at it, uh, honestly, this is relatively straightforward. Uh, the Tilnor pseudocode is relatively well written. So you can just copy this and try and replicate this in Python or whatever programming language of your choice. So you can try treat my drive link as an example or as an answer. Uh, of course, if you don't know how to use Python, but you are interested in using Python, uh, you can use it as a learning exercise. Uh, you can download Anaconda. I'll put the description to that in the description as well. Uh, you can see my code in Anaconda, and you can learn how it works uh, and start your own code analysis fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's basically it for this video. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, I would really appreciate it if you do. Um, it's just nice, <laughs> like knowing people are appreciating this content and stuff like that. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you all in the next one, I hope. And yeah, bye.